what what Martin? What excites you most about developing for Android? Oh, um, a lot of things. Um, just developing for mobile in general is just the instant gratification of you know making something and seeing it, and then seeing people use it. Mm -hmm. uh, and for Android especially, it's just a huge user base. Uh, everybody gets to use it, and you know it. Sometimes I scream and curse at the problems of the different device sizes and that kind of thing, but once you all get it working, it's just good fun. And you you can make so many different things as well. I mean, uh, I worked at one point on an app which used a custom Arduino bracelet, uh, and we transferred uh, data from the phone uh, from Android to iOS and iOS to Android phones. It was a conference app, so you'd shake hands and it would detect the movement and zap what? the things oh, that's cool. across. That's very cool. Um, and that, those kinds of things uh, are just great to do. Uh, so I love doing that. I love uh, Android is getting, uh, it now has great uh, yeah, animation support and mm -hmm. you can do lots of lovely things with it. Uh, and I just like, uh, I prefer, much prefer uh, working here with Java over Objective-C. Um, Agreed. And of course, nowadays <laughs> it's going to Swift, but it's not well, everything is Swift yet. Um, yeah. When does that happen? I mean, I've heard a little bit about that. But oh, like, it's when? happening right now. The transition is, uh, we've already got a lot of production stuff in Swift. Um, mm -hmm. Only I have the... <laughs> The problem that I started at this job, I was the Android developer uh, and um, everything was written in Objective-C, the Apple stuff. So I had to learn that and then, you know, I, our team grew and grew, so I took on more responsibility there. Uh, and I never had a chance to learn Swift properly because I was keeping up with management and uh, Android developments. And the new guys come in and we pretty much give them Swift to learn, or if they don't know it already, or, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but here I sit, uh, and I have. To, if I do iOS development, I have to do the uh, Objective C, which is a bit sad. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, we're trying to just shift everything over to Swift uh, because it's so much nicer to work with. Gotcha. It's almost as nice as Java. <laughs> well, you see the same thing going on right now with Java moving to Kotlin or Kotlin, as some right. people say. Right. Yeah. No, I, I read your um, the interview in Android Central, and you speak very highly of Kotlin. What, yes. Why? What, what is it? I really love it. it. Um, what it does for us is it makes our code way more stable, and it creates just way nicer code. So everything, if you look at a source code file, it just looks really pretty instead it's of... much more readable. It's much mm, more readable, yeah. and um, it also prevents a lot of crashes and a lot of, you know stuff that happens when you don't really write your code perfectly. Sure, sure. Um, so what would you say is your biggest complaint about Android as a platform? There's a lot of things to love about Android. I'm sure there are a lot of challenges as an Android developer. What would you say there? Yeah, well, one of the things was the, the UI layer that is put on top of uh, every vendor's phones. Mm -hmm. And then code-wise, I think the problem is that like we have this great, vibrant community of programmers, which is really nice. But then not everything is endorsed by Google. So we were just talking about Kotlin, which mm -hmm. is not endorsed by Google. So a lot of developers are really, really hesitant to start trying it out. That's understandable. Yeah. Understandable, mm -hmm. yeah. And I would do too if I would work at any other company probably. Um, so that's one of the things technically that, that you know is really hard. So I use a lot of stuff, Rx Java, I use um, Dagger, I use MVP. Like this is all technical things, mm -hmm. which none of them are really that much endorsed by Google. Um, but they all Yet come from everybody the uses them. Yet everybody <laughs> uses them, yes. More or but less. But it's, it's hard because mm. new developers getting into it, they just go to developer.android.com and they start yeah. learning it. And right. they learn all the wrong things. Mm. Good to know, <laughs> actually. Well, you really are an Android master. <laughs> um, let's see here. I, well, I don't know. Do, do you have a, a differing opinion as far as like biggest complaint with Android? Um, well, I completely agree with everything Yolanda said. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but what I really... Um, we... Uh, App Studio is a really old... Place. They started out in print design, actually, wow. 35 years ago. Wow. Uh, and they With the name App Studio. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> were the, the foresight. That is, is, that's the new division. <laughs> yeah. We, we were really early. Um, but uh, the, the point is that they're really uh, focused on design and getting everything right, pixel perfect. Uh, and that is quite difficult. That, well, it's not 
yeah, it, it's challenging with all the different screen sizes and that kind of thing and different devices and devices which lie to you when you ask it what kind of density it has. Mm -hmm. And um, that just, it, that's very challenging. Uh, and it's getting a lot better with uh, constraint layouts and all that kind of thing. But to me, that is still something which uh, we spend a lot of hours on, uh, getting everything perfect on all these different screens. Uh, but if you get it right, you do definitely notice it. And right. the client, they might not notice what you're doing, but they will notice that it all looks good. Right. 